he was a hypochondriac. You know what is a hypochondriac? He is a person who thinks, oh, oh I am not well. Oh, I am not well. Half the time, all the time, he will be thinking, I am not well. He is well. He is actually well. He is healthy. But he will think, oh, my back is spinning. Oh, you know, my head is spinning. Oh, my leg, finger leg is spinning. Toe is spinning. Psychological problem. Hypochondria. I am not well. So many doctors came and checked him. They did not understand what the problem was. Because there was no problem in reality. Then a prophet came. He was told, Sir, our king is not well. The prophet went and checked the pulse of the king. He found that everything was okay. But he did not tell the king. He said, Yes, sir, you are not well. You know there is a solution for it. Do one thing. Make sure whatever you see is green in color. Whatever you see, it has to be green in color. If you keep on seeing green, 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 green things, you will become red. He said this to the king and he left. After many months, the prophet again visited the kingdom. And he was shocked. Because he saw the whole kingdom has been painted green. The doors were green, the palace was green, the roads were green, the shops were green, the houses were everything was green in color. He could not understand what was the problem, why everything is green in color. So again he went to the king and he asked, Sir, how are you? He said, I'm perfectly fine. You asked me to paint, paint everything green. I did change everything green in color. But the prophet said, I never asked you to paint anything green. I asked you to see everything green. Yes. How do I see everything green? I paint everything green. He said, oh my Lord, why didn't you put green specks? You would have seen everything as green. So what does this mean? You have to change your vision. You think he is bad? He is bad. Some children, when they are small, very small. In India, I do not know how it is in your country. If they have a big house, you tell them, go and fetch me a glass of water from the kitchen. Papa, it is very dark. I am so afraid. Why are you afraid? Somebody told me that in the darkness there is ghost. Have you seen a ghost? No, oh, Papa. Then what are you afraid of? Everything is in the mind. Ghost is your creation. You are afraid of it. Maybe there are ghosts in reality. But why to frighten a child by seeing the darkness there is ghost? Don't do such things. You should not teach wrong things to children. If you want your children to be happy, husband and wife has to be happy. Husband and wife every day in the house, there is third world war. How can there be happiness in the house? Every day is a third world war in the house. Husband is shouting at the wife, wife is shouting at the husband. Many plates are getting broken. Glasses are flying, plates are flying. How can that? The child looks at it. Oh, oh. This is the way I think when I get married, I have to be to my wife. So when he gets married, he also shouts at his wife. Or shouts at us. It is very important. If you want your child to be happy, first you must you must be always happy. If you want to be happy, you should understand what is happiness. Happiness is not a commodity. It cannot be purchased in it cannot be created. It is inside you. Always inside you. Inside all of us. It is just a state of mind. 
I am happy. I'm very happy. If you sleep here, will you be happy? Very happy. Hey, sorry, there is no place here. Can you sleep on this side? Very happy. Nobody should be able to disturb your happiness. And we as teachers, all of us are teachers. You don't have to teach a subject. History, geography, chemistry, philosophy. No. Everyone is a teacher. And who is a teacher? A teacher is one who practices what he teaches. If I say, be a good boy, I have to be good first. There was a very great saint in India, Sri Ramakrishna Paramahamsa. Very great saint. One day, a mother brought her child to Ramakrishna Paramahamsa and said, Guruji, please, Please advise my son not to eat sweets. He is eating so many sweets a day. His teeth will get rotten very soon. Please, please tell him he is not listening to me. Ramakrishna Paramahamsa looked at the child and said, and at the mother, please come after one week. The mother took the child away and came back after one week. Ramakrishna Paramahamsa said, one more week please, come after one more week. After another week they came, then Ramakrishna Paramahamsa looked at the child, took him on his lap, found him and said, my child, don't eat sweets. The mother was very angry. What? To tell this you asked me to come two times? After fortnight? After fourteen days? What is this? Then Ramakrishna Paramahamsa said, Mother, I myself used to eat sweets. How can I advise a child not to eat sweets when I myself have eaten? First, I have to stop eating. Practice is what is necessary. It is very important these lessons which our great masters have taught us are not jokes. They are very important. And we want serious people in life. People who have got courage, who have got determination, who have got a focus in life, Нам нужны такие люди, у которых есть устремление, острое желание, страсть, серьезность в жизни. Да, я могу.